Hey, you are to, are to traders. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, guys, I am going to be showing you how to set up Forex market sessions on trading view guys now it is so much important for you to know whether right now it is the london session new york session tokyo session or asian session right so now without wasting any of your time guys let us get on with it right so the first thing that you may want to do guys is obviously you want to go over to where it is written indicators right there and now you might you you sort of like want to type fx market sessions right fx market sessions there we go let us put that uh, tool right there fx market sessions guys there we go right so now um before we even uh, uh put this indicator but it's fine because we have just put it right so it is so much important for you to also go there on your settings right and then go over to events and then session breaks right so you guys have already told you what what session breaks means right so it sort of like divides the days there is one full day right there is also one full day right there there is also one full day right there right so now that our days are actually divided so right now you can clearly see that here it is written what let us just look at this day here it is written tokyo london and new york session right so now after you have just uh, uh put this indicator guys right so now what you may want to do is you may sort of like want to double click on there or you may sort of like want to go there right and then you sort of like want to left <coughs> left click and then go over to settings basically you just go over to the settings of your indicator right and the very most important thing that you may want to do is you check the time zone right there Currently, I'm using GMT plus two, which is sort of like, this, let, let us just say South African time, though I'm not from South Africa, right? So here we are just going to input GMT plus two right there, guys, right? So there we go. So right now, um, also, guys, if you can see closely here, probably some of you guys are not familiar with this. It is written here, Tokyo, right? It is written there, Tokyo, right? So basically, Tokyo is, let me just show you guys, basically, Tokyo is sort of like the same as Asian session, guys, right? So here, if it confuses you, you can just come up there on settings and then you can just put Asian session right there, right? There we go. So where it says Tokyo, you can just simply go there as you guys can see that it has now changed to Asian session, guys, right? So now, let us say that, you know, you have your strategy and you are so much in love with trading, what right? you are so much in love with trading the new york session or let us just preferably say the london session guys right so what you can do is you can also go over to the settings of your indicator and then you can just let us say that you love trading the london session and then you can just simply untick the new york session and untick the asian session right there and then you can just simply leave the london session there only guys right so you can just simply do what leave the london session there only also you can modify these uh settings right so you can modify the settings uh to your liking guys like let us just say that you want these colors to be uh, 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 uh to, to be black you can sort of like also do that for instance you can clearly see that on london sessions it is now what it is now black you can sort of like also modify that too but now there's this important thing guys that i actually want to touch upon right if you're a day trader you actually need this tool guys because you have to know that okay sharp the london session has has, uh, has now started for us um using this time zone let us see what when, when the london says the london session starts at 8 a.m and then it ends at 5 a.m right so meaning now that you might be wanting to look for your trading opportunities from 8 a.m to 5 a.m so now there's this thing that i really want to touch upon guys right so um i know a lot of traders l let me just uh put this back i know a lot of traders might actually think that um uh the agent session or might actually think that the best time to trade is is in the london session and in the new york session right so as you guys can see i'm actually on eurocad so we can clearly see that okay sharp on eurocad um most of the time on agent session it is just you know it is just uh uh, uh 
you know, accumulating. It is sort of like going sideways. It, it, it isn't doing any movement. But now in London and New, and New York section, we can clearly see that that is where um, that is where uh, uh, the most movement is. Also, you can also see here. You can also see here, guys, Asian session, it is doing what? It is just moving sideways, right? It is just doing what? It is just moving sideways, right? So now, this is because of the type of pair that we have uh, 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 just uh, opened. Also, Asian session, guys, you can clearly see what is happening, moving sideways. And then on London sessions, it is sort of like doing what? It is sort of like uh, uh, moving uh, 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 fast. Also here, right? Also here, London session. I mean, Asian session, it is doing what? It is just uh, uh, accumulating. And then on London session, that is where the big move starts. So now, this doesn't happen on all pairs, guys. It is so much very important for you to study your pairs, right? You, you sort of like uh, uh, should know that, okay, Sharp, um, as, as you guys can see that on Eurocad, the most time whereby your rocket is volatile it is when it is the london session and the new the, the new york session but you know the most time where um when uh your rocket is volatile let me just uh sort of like do this it is what it is what it is the london sessions guys so now that means now that you can't be looking to trade uh, as you guys can see now i've left the london session and you can see that you know during the london session this pair moves like crazy guys this pair moves like crazy right so now you study these pairs guys you study these pairs let me just uh, let us sort of like sort something out there history you can put depending on um if you want to back test for like the, the 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 past previous days you can put 30 there and then now it is going to show you um e e e e e as you guys can see, I've just added. You can now back test on 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 the previous uh, um the, uh, on the previous thirty days, right? So you can clearly see that the Eurocat London session it moves. Eurocat London sessions it moves, guys. It it does what it moves. As you guys can see, it moves. It moves during the what? It moves during the London session. It moves during the London sessions, right? look at that it moves during the what it moves during the london session guys right so you may be wanting to look at into it so the reason why i'm saying this guys is that for instance au dj poi guys during london session au dj poi is most likely to not move during london session au dj poi is most likely to not move and when is au dj AUTJ Pi, um, the uh, 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 the best time to trade. When does AUTJ Pi move? AUTJ Pi, for instance, it is most likely to move during the Asian time. Remember the Asian, the I mean during the Asian session. The Asian session is the same as the, uh, it's just the same as the Tokyo session, right? So, now AUTJ Pi is going to sort of like move. Uh, uh, most of the time it will move during the what during the. Um, during the um, during the um, uh, 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 the Asian session, right? So let me just show you guys during the Asian session. As you guys can see, also there, this was the Asian session right there, right? So let us just open the Asian session. In fact, let us just open all of the pairs. There we go. There we go. So you can clearly see, guys, Asian session, ATJ Prime moved. And why is this? This is because this is the market, uh, this is the market open opening for the Japanese yen, right? And also, um, during the Asian session, that is where we get to see a lot of, th that is where the e economic events for the Japanese yen is released, guys, right? So that is why I'm saying to you that, you know, you mustn't have this mentality of saying that, I, during the Asian during the Asian period, um, most pairs are actually volatile. You should actually study the pairs that you are trading, guys, right? So this is very, very important for you to note, guys, right? So this is very, very important for you to note. For instance, you can even see here, guys, on the Asian session, right, it just moved to the upward, right? So now you should study the different pairs that you are going to want to trade. Know when they are volatile. Know the, know the session where uh, whereby this uh, this pairs move, right? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you did find value. If you did, do smash on that like button for me. See you on the next one. Goodbye.